you're beautiful welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and I do story times so today's notification shout out goes to Tori Sears 87 thank you so much for all your love and thank you so much for noticing I was like oh thank you thank you I love you so much if you want to be part of the notification squad all you have to if you want to be part of the notification squad all you have to do is just like the video hit subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below and your comment can possibly be my next notification shout out Boom. I'm a little on coffee, so I'm a little jittery right now. It's our moment. So they got a few comments from Fran Bam saying that they were really, really busy, so they had to pause on the nanny series and they like to follow it in order that if I could just pull a story time out of the nanny series, out of order, that won't throw off too much. And that when I get to that part, they're not left out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, chili bean? So I would love to do that for you guys because I do feel bad when found by them comment and like, I'll be back when I catch up with the other ones. I'll be back when I catch up. And I'm like, you know what? I should just probably just sometimes just do a story time that it doesn't have to be like part one, two, three, four. You know what I mean? Let me know if that's how you guys would prefer some story times be because I can definitely do that for you guys. I haven't had nails in a minute and I feel like a little bougie bitch. <sighs> oh, look at my shirt. I wear my heart on my sleeve. And, mira, look at the whole gang's here. Kyla made it for me. So thank you so much, love. I really do appreciate it. So freaking cool. I love when you guys send me things. I feel so special. It's like, a connection you know what i mean for today's story time i did want to play with a new palette i went to ulta and i got the new juvius the coffee shop okay and then i finally got these two these are blushes and i'm really excited it's the blush the liquid blush so i will be playing with those today sit back relax let me know what you guys are doing what you guys are watching who you guys watch me with let me know the ladies cheese down below and let's get started i usually do my eyebrows off camera but i thought it'd be fun to do them on camera but this story time this is part of my nanny series here on youtube i used to be a nanny and it was a lot of drama okay a lot so my my boss got caught cheating again so for those who don't know the nanny series, Mr. Peach is my boss and Mrs. Peach too. They are married. There is Voldemort, who is a puta sucia that is part of the family. If you want to know more in depth, I will link the nanny series down below. But Voldemort is pretty much the Sancha, okay? And then there's Sam. Sam is Mr. Peach's daughter. Me and her, we can sometimes, and then sometimes get along, okay? So now since we've been caught up, that's where we're at. Me and Sam, we wanted to go swimming. It's a good day. We want to go swimming. Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach, they weren't really feeling it at first, but I feel like the more me and Sam talked about it, they're like, you know what? Okay, let's go. So we started all getting ready. We're a little excited. We sometimes used to have moments where it's like things felt normal and they weren't so crazy. But those were like very rare occasions, okay? Very rare <laughs> occasions. So we're all getting ready. And Baltimore comes to the door. Hello. <sighs> I swear, every time I knew that bitch was coming, like my panza fell to my ass crack, okay? It fell to my asshole every single time. I answer the door. I'm like, oh, hey. She asks where we're going. We tell her we are going to go swimming. Sometimes she would invite herself, it was no biggie for her to be like, um, I'm going too. So she goes, oh, you can wait. Oh, I wanna go. And I'm like, mm, it's not up to me. No duh, Alexis, no duh, it's not up to you. So she moves me out of the way and she goes to find Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach. And she asks, I'm like, oh, where are you guys going? They didn't want her to go. Even Mr. Peach, she was probably like, you know what, I don't wanna deal with it today. I don't wanna deal with it today. And he tells her, oh, we're gonna drop the kids off. All of a sudden, there's no, oh, we're going to go. He says, we are going to drop them off. He kind of is like, uh, so you guys aren't going? Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach are like, no, we're just going to leave them. We wanted to go out first, but yeah, we changed our mind. All of a sudden, 
all of us slutton so they changed their mind so me and sam are getting ready that we're getting the other babies ready too we're kind of like trying to listen and we're kind of like oh my gosh because i feel like when mrs peach and mr peach were good they were good but i felt like when baltimore came in the picture she was so quick to kind of stir the pot and it was so dumb because sometimes guys only think with one thing okay and if that thing they will be like what i don't know what's going on only one brain can work at a time not two okay so we really didn't even want her to go because we didn't want to ruin the fun for everybody else and it kind of sucked because she would stare steer she was mr peach's kryptonite okay that's what it was she was his kryptonite and he was bien pendejo when she was around huh what's going on like that okay and i felt bad because sometimes like i'm saying mr peach and mrs peach would do really pretty good but when Voldemort wasn't around you know what i'm saying they just tell her like no we're just gonna drop them off we were gonna go but now we changed our mind and Baltimore is like, oh, you know what? That's okay. I'll stay with them. Because I have a feeling she kind of knew. Like, oh, you guys think I'm stupid? Okay, no. I'm going to show you stupid. I'm going to ruin you guys. It's fun. So they're like, okay. Kind of sucked because I'm telling you, they were already getting packed. To what is this? What is this? Brow Genius Brow Serum. I thought this was to hold your brows in place. You were... So she says she's gonna go home real quick, get some of her stuff, and she'll meet us there. <sighs> okay, so she leaves, and you could just tell the whole vibe changed. And I even told Sam, I was like, you know what, dude? Like, I don't even want to go anymore. She's like, same. And it just kind of sucked because I feel like Baltimore could read the room. She could read the room. She could even read it for filth. But she just had to be included she was just that person where she did not care if you guys have anybody in your life like that it kind of sucks because it's like mm, bye but they won't buy they will stay they don't care and i think it's because like they don't know social cues i feel like maybe your mom didn't teach you that not everyone is going to like you or i don't know i don't know it's just like who raised you who raised you bitch who raised you why are you acting like that like you have to know but some people don't some people are, are oblivious to it so we kind of go back and forth like, I don't even want to go anymore. She's like, same, I don't want to go. Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach overhear us and they ask us like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to go anymore. And so they're like, oh, why? And Sam flat out tells them because Baltimore's going and she doesn't want to go. That she ruins the fun for everything. She doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to do with the drama because that bitch came with drama every single time. <sighs> they kind of just mm, kind of were like thinking on it. You could tell they kind of wanted, wanted us to like, have our moment and not go but they're like no let's go the kids are excited it's fine it's fine let's just go and not to be like that so we we're like mm, okay whatever all of a sudden you guys care cool so we ended up going and baltimore i think was kind of giving getting the feeling of like we were gonna ditch her or something so she keeps texting what one again what one again because we usually go to a or we usually go to b and they were taking their sweet time writing her back like they really were to the point that she started messaging me and sam and we're asking where what one hello what one i just put my phone in my backpack because i always carried a backpack around like if i was dora the explorer okay like, no joke. So I just put it in my backpack because I was like, mm -mm, I am not going to deal with you today. And she was so used to tagging along when no one invited you. No one. If you don't get the invitation, that does not mean invite yourself. Don't invite yourself. It's not genuine. Don't do it. I don't care if you're bored. I don't care. Do not invite yourself to places because they will give you a call, okay? Don't do it, don't do it. If they wanted you there, they would have invited you. If they wanted to, they would, but they didn't, okay? So don't. I put my bag, I put my phone in my bag and Sam just puts it in the back of her pocket and she acts like, oh, she can't, she can't look at it, whatever, acts like she don't hear it. We hear the little chirps, chirps, but we don't care. We are oblivious to it. We kind of all tell each other the same thing without telling each other the same thing. So if one wanted to play stupid, we could. It was just one of those days. It felt like it was a good day, 
that was trying to get rained on. So we finally get to spot A and we are so freaking excited because you know how you can just smell the chlorine? You're like, oh, it's going to be good, okay? Once that chlorine hit, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a good day. You can smell the sunscreen, you can smell the tanning lotion, like you can just smell it all. And I love that smell. I feel like every time I smell that smell, it brings me back to memories that make me like happy and like going out and like spending time and like being a kid again, you know? It makes me so freaking happy. So I totally forget about Baltimore, like I do. Out of sight, out of mind, bitch, I don't care. I don't care. Me, Sam, all the kids, we're like squirming, we're all excited, cause like we are going to have a good family day. We get checked in, it's a good time. They didn't even ask me, hey, where's your money? We're not paying for you. There was no petty, no pettiness. I was so excited, cause I was like, oh my God, yes, I have money, so that if I wanna get like a little snacky snack or something, I can, I can. It was good, I'm telling you guys, it was a good day. It was a good day, so. We get in, we find a cool little spot, we get lucky. We're like, dang, hell yeah, hell yeah. It is just good times. For a moment there, I kind of just like imagined, like, okay, this is my family and I'm part of one of them. I hate when my little self would do this because it was instantly like, not instantly, but at times it could be crushed very quickly. I would jinx it and it's like Jade bring it back bring it back just enjoy the moment Shh, don't be so weird you know how sometimes you see those kids where they're just like <laughs> they're just like squirming because they get so happy and like sometimes it continues to go good you know I feel like sometimes when I would like let that energy out and be like so excited I would like somewhat jinx it and like trip or something you know so we find our spots I'm like hell yeah as we go to go get ready you know get situated all of that I grab my bag and I could feel a call coming through and I'm like, oh man, man. And I look at it, I'm not gonna lie. I look at it until it just stops because I don't want her to come. I don't care. I don't want her to come. I don't wanna deal with it. And I look at Mrs. Peach and I ask her, I'm like, you know, pointing to it. She's like, ah. like she like waves me. So I take that wave as I don't, give, don't answer it. And so I don't, I don't answer it. I go with Sam and take some of the kids and we go and get ready. Okay, we go and get ready, get all excited. I ask Sam, like, uh, are you gonna answer? She's like, no, I don't want her to come. Like, it's going pretty good, I don't want her to come, I don't wanna deal with any drama. And we're all on the same page. If you are toxic, if you're that toxic, tia, tio, cousin, primo, whatever, whatever. If you are toxic enough and are constantly bringing drama, you will stop being invited to the parties. Like, it will just happen. It will just happen and you'll probably have that response of well that's just how i am okay well sit your that's how i am ass over there because now the wants to be around it it becomes too much and you just like ruin the fun you think kids don't see it you think kids are just gonna act like oh that's just adult stuff no kids get annoyed too kids get like oh my god again again unless you are one where it's like adult stuff is just adult stuff and you handle it with that Okay, you probably won't get any complaints and you'll still, be, you'll still probably be the cool tia or whatever. But if you're constantly inserting other people and you just bring drama, no one is going to want to bring you around or invite you or this and that. That's what I'm telling you. If you are not invited, do not invite yourself. Okay, whatever. So as we're getting ready, we walk out and who do we bump into? Mm-hmm, Baltimore. As soon as we're walking out, we're all laughing. I'm serious. Like if someone would have like, been recording us and stuff, it would have, we would have looked like the happiest family, like, ah, uh -huh. and we've seen her, okay? Like, my eye just twitched, my eye just twitched. That's how she still brings me, like, ugh. So, we walk out, we see her, and she's like, oh, you guys can't answer? What, you guys can't answer? Your phone's always in your hands, you can't answer? And she looks at me, like, if I'm related to her, and I'm like, I didn't want to, because I didn't, I didn't, I did not want to answer. She, Okay, remember that. And, she, and you, looking at Sam, you can't answer? I didn't want to either. I didn't want you to come. And we just continue to walk past her. She is like annoyed with us. And she even tries to grab Sam to kind of like, probably be like, hey, what the? And Sam just like, leave me alone. No one wanted you here. And we walk. 
when I tell you, I'm not going to lie, we were nervous. I thought she was going to snatch my hair as we were walking because we made her feel stupid. And there's other families watching. You know, people are cheating most of us. You know, they were listening. You know, they were listening. So we go and find Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach. And we tell them who's here. Mrs. Peach is a Norse. I know. I know. She asks us if we told her what one we were going to, because remember, we should go to A or B. And I'm like, I didn't say or nothing. I didn't answer any of her phone calls. And Sam tells her the same thing. Me either. I did not answer her. Mr. Peach is silent, silent. So we all look at him. He's like, what? No, I didn't tell her. And yeah, you guys, this is what I didn't want. Starts with his like little whining and bitching, okay? Whining and bitching. That's how he gave himself away every single time when he would whine and bitch. We just looked at him like, okay. He takes the babies and he goes to swim. Now, before he did, I noticed that he left his phone there. So when we would go out and swim, you would always cover your belongings because you never know something can be missing you know something can happen so as he's going mrs peach later follow, follows behind him she leaves her phone next to him me and sam sometimes we would think the same and i don't know you know how sometimes you just have that like feeling like oh check his phone check his phone especially how he was like what i didn't tell her and started bitching and like whining like a little puta so we were like hmm I, I'm gonna check his phone. So I tell her, I'm like, which means look out to see if anyone is watching me. So I'm like looking through his phone and I see, and it says like Jose, okay? And it says, which, what, what one are you at? He replied, A. Hey. So I'm like, huh, I think Jose is Baltimore. I think Jose. It's Baltimore. And I don't know, because we all know Mrs. Peach was in denial and kind of would like let things happen in front of her. And she just, there's just some women who are oblivious and I'm like, I don't care. You know, was it my place? No, it was not. But did I? Yes. So I start going through all his stuff and I start seeing that he talks to Jose on the phone a lot and i'm like mm, yeah so i grab my phone and i check the numbers jose is vertemart so i'm like okay you little shitty bitch okay okay i start going through their other stuff and like sometimes people are dumb and they don't delete their stuff and that's you know that's how people get caught it's stupid but they're dumb i'm telling you dumb so i start reading some of the stuff i start showing sam sam is super annoyed and tells me change the name change the name i'm like ah, should i should i bitch should i before we can change the name Baltimore comes and she has her stuff already chi chi's all out looking all nice and she tells us like are we gonna get in or not with attitude we just look at her like not with you she asks us what we're doing with the phones and I play it off so smooth because the blankets and towels are right there and I tell her like covering them, hiding them. I make a stupid face back to her because she always had these stupid ass faces when she would be like, are you dumb? No, you're dumb, bitch. You're dumb. You're stupid. You're stupid and you're dumb. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine too, mine too. And she hands me her phone. Stupid. Stupid. So we put our phones up and wrap them up and then we go and swim. I feel kind of bad for her because I know she wanted to kick it and like be part of like the group and like be with us and stuff, but I could not stand her. Like I really could not. Like I didn't understand how someone who was so grimy like that would still want people to treat her like if she wasn't moving grimy, you know? I didn't get it. And you guys know well, some of you guys know the tea between me and Baltimore. So it was always just like very weird because in a way I felt like I had like loyalty to her because of like the the trip that we took. But then like in a way it was just <sighs> grooming is a bitch. Okay. And I never understood that's what it was because I would hate when I would like do something back to them. And then I felt guilt. I didn't know 
what it why I felt guilty like I never understood why I felt guilty and it's a real thing I don't want to go into it too much but the more I understand so many things I'm like so I'm not broken they just like moved the pieces and thought I wouldn't find them but now I'm putting everything back together and fixing myself and y'all are gross so we're swimming, having a good time. I even run into some people that I used to go to school with and they were like tripping out because I guess I look grown and I didn't. My eyebrows were just super thin and I, I don't know. I guess I did kind of look grown because they still looked very innocent and I feel like my innocence was not there no more, you know? They kept tripping out and we just had fun. We were catching up, having a good time. And it really just felt like good, good vibes. Baltimore kept coming like here and there. And it was so awkward because when she would try to swim with us, she was like trying to wet us and have like a fun time. And we were so rude. Like we were really rude. We were just like, mm, like that, okay? And she kind of just got it after a while and just ended up getting out of the pool and my classmates who when i used to go to school were like dang she's fine why are you guys so mean to her and we're like she's a bitch <laughs> she is a bitch don't let her bewitching looks fool you she's a bitch she's a bitch like she really is a bitch we just kept swimming having fun having fun and we eventually go back because they have to clean the pool so they're like blow the whistle so that everyone gets out of the pool and you like chill a little bit you know because what if someone pooped in there or i don't really know i don't really know why they, they tell everyone to get out i don't really know i'm thinking because what if someone like pooped or something and they have to clean it add a little bit more chlorine something right like it has to be something important so we get out and we sit back at our table and i notice that Baltimore is just on her phone angrily, okay? They're just on her phone like You know when someone's on their phone angrily because their face just looks annoyed like annoyed We asked them a question Annoyed like don't talk to me annoyed, okay, and that's cool. That's cool right away My panza was like, oh She's probably messaging mr. Peach She's probably messaging Mr. Peach because I'm telling you Mr. Peach and Mrs. Peach They when they were good. They were good and they were kind of having like a cute little moment. Their babies are getting wet Mrs. Peach looks good in her bathing suit. She looked look cute and they're just like having the little moment and bonding, okay, and I feel like when Sanchez or the side chick whatever they see the person that they want to be with is treating the mother of the children or whoever, okay really good they get celosa celosa fea okay and i could feel it i could feel it because even even i was like an aw because how he was acting with mrs peach his wife and his kids and they were like being cute and it was just like a little kodak moment but you can see ursula was like brewing like annoyed on her phone and then we have sam right why are you even here why did you come why did you come like just poking at her okay and you can just see Baltimore like because I wanted to like why are you asking me stupid questions all mad and she's like who are you texting another one of your little boyfriends who are you texting who are you texting and now as she's saying all this I'm looking at Mr. Peach because I'm like look turn your head bitch and see what happens turn your head bitch because I just knew I just knew the little the little things that Baltimore was saying I know it was like just poking Mr. Peach's butthole. I knew it. And so I could see his little eyes like twitch back like that. I could see it. I could see, I could see it. And I saw Mrs. Peach watch him and we're just all like, all oh, just like our eyes are all, we're all busy. Our eyes are all like doing stuff, you know? Sam is still chingy chingy. Like, so why did you come again? Just want, just want to make her feel some way. And she's like, cause I wanted to. And it's getting really annoying. She's like, well, why don't you go with one of your little boyfriends? And I know Sam was baiting her. I know she was baiting Baltimore and she was baiting Mr. Peach because that's just how she was. We all were like that. So she was baiting and I was just watching and we were just all doing, participating in our own way. Mrs. Peach actually, she was like, oh, but she's watching. 
she's watching what's going on and she's like so what i could have like all the boyfriends that i ever wanted what does that even matter what does it matter what does it matter what does that matter they help me with my stuff they help me with my car payment they help me with my phone bill like just going off and his eyes are just going like this just going like that okay and i could have whoever i want so then why are you here so then why are you here and then we hear the whistle so that we can go back okay no one like scatters off very fast mr peach says he's gonna go to the restroom and that uh, he's gonna go to the restroom and he asks the kids like any of you guys want to go with me yeah okay he takes a few mrs peach stays behind i stay behind Voldemort, and sam stay behind look how cute this is warning ice ice baby but y'all know about that Ooh, this is actually really cute Like an icy. Ooh. Once he leaves, everything is silent. And before he left, he like grabbed his phone out of the towel and he went his merry way. I knew with the quickness that she was going to. And she did. And she did. And that right there, trust your gut. Trust your gut. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're. No, I'm just, I'm just in tune with myself, bitch in the sound waves and all this stuff no 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 no. you're just manipulative get out of my face so she starts going like a mile a minute and i know it hurt mrs peach to even ask because it's one thing you're knowing but it's another to like just poke the bear to touch the stove when you know it's gonna burn you know it's gonna burn so she asks her like who are you texting who are you texting and we all just kind of look at her because i'm like oh just be honest with her to be honest with her but it doesn't even matter if she was honest with her it does not even matter if she was honest with her because she's already beat that ass before it does not matter she is not going to stay away she's not going to stay away why does it matter to you but she says it in spanish so you know it's a little because i'm asking because you look stupid you look stupid going back and forth who has you stressing out why are you so stressed out why did you even come if you're gonna be on your phone they go back and forth with their bickering blah 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 so mrs peach goes off and she goes into the pool bye and then soon after so does Baltimore. now when i went for Baltimore's phone she had a lock on it because she's a puta just kidding <laughs> just kidding but no she did have the lock on it so i couldn't see who she was messaging but i didn't need that all I had to wait for was Mr. Peach. So me and Sam decided to wait. Because I'm not doing this by myself. I'm doing it with Sam. Because Sam was like, you know what? Let's change the numbers. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's change the names, not the numbers. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. Because I don't care. I don't care. And we're thinking, we're thinking maybe, just maybe, if we help Mrs. Peach out with this, just maybe... She's finally going to be like, bye. But it doesn't matter. You can have video proof, text messages. The person who the person is could tell you. And if that person does not want to move on, they will not move on. You can lead a horse to water. Does not mean they will drink it. Mr. Peach comes. He has the babies. And you could just tell he's like flustered, which, yeah juggling two women yeah mm -hmm. and they're right here mm -hmm. i can see i can see it. he asks us if we're gonna go back in they're like what are we doing like he looks annoyed like this is why we came now he's trying to take his anger out on us and me and her we see right through it we're just like okay like yeah we're just going to reapply our sunscreen and we're gonna be back in and he's like okay well don't take too long because we're gonna leave already yeah i'm up here already okay sir bye 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 over here trying to pick it out on us and the kids just because sancho over here acting up okay bye so he just puts his phone on the table sam grabs his phone and starts reading the messages and i'm like right behind her reading them with her he's trying to tell Baltimore that it was just bad timing that he's going to tell mrs peach on his time and that her just coming and acting like the way she does and why is she dressed like that does she want everyone's attention and he say loso is hell say loso like how dare he tell her while he's over there with his wife like okay so he's telling her pretty much you better act right 
you better go change go get covered up why are your tatas all out those are only mine you know i love you this is complicated why are you doing this i'm doing this for the kids a whole thing sam is getting hot okay she is like shaking poor thing is holding the phone like this so she's like let's just here do it change it right now like i'm so change it right now we're like okay big letters well tomorrow big old letters okay but before i'm like done with the phone she grabs the phone and starts taking pictures with her phone because back in the day there was no such thing as screenshot okay okay can you imagine can you imagine no you had to take <laughs> pictures okay so she's taking pictures with her phone because she is like evidence evidence because this family would guess like the out of you okay anything at all like what no that's not what i said what no i said it like this no i did it like this 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 and this so she's taking pictures she's having proof she's taking pictures because she's like mm -mm. you got messed up so after she's done taking the pictures she put her phone away and she grabs mrs peach now i didn't i didn't think this far ahead okay she did she grabbed mrs peach's phone and she turns it off okay and the whole time I'm watching her, I'm like, ooh, you smart bitch. Okay, I know where this is going. If you don't know where this is going, that's good. That means you're not toxic. But she turns off her phone. And I'm like, okay. So we go swim. And she's like, let's go with Voltimar. I'm like, okay. What do you want to do? So we go with Voltimar and we start playing with her. Now, I don't know what she thought, okay? I don't know what Sam thought that, like, if she was going to play nice, like, that's a mini her, okay? Sam is Baltimore's mini Rue, okay? She is her her mini me, like for real. So I don't know what she thought, like she was gonna punk her, like bitch, no. Like at the end of the day, we're still teens. We can't be over here fighting a grown ass woman, like what are you doing? So she wants to play with her in the pool and they start splashing each other and dunking each other. And me, I'm just watching from afar because at first I was playing, but once I started seeing that they were like really playing i was like mm -mm. Uh, um, i don't even know how to swim i'm i'm over here holding on to the edge because i don't want to drown because i don't know how to swim and they're over here being brave okay brave splashing each other dunking each, each other like they were playing con la mano pesado <laughs> they were playing heavy-handed okay and i was just like mm -mm. no 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 so they were playing so rough that the left guard was like blowing his whistle every like second okay no don't play like that no don't play like that sam is coming up for air like <gasps> and then she would go back and then she would get voltimar pulling her hair dunking her pulling her back like it was so aggressive and i was just i was just sitting back because i was scared i was scared like am i gonna witness something i was very terrified okay like the way they were playing i don't i only played like that with one person and we ended up fighting once we got onto like the land we started like because i was pissed like that you're gonna kill me in the water and use your weight against me you bitch like i was pissed i was mad so yeah we threw hands because you got me fucked. you're gonna think people having me like a rag doll in the water that's not even fair okay and i don't even know how to swim and you know that bitch anyways i hate that story time because everybody who was there and we're just laughing the whole time when i was like i'm not playing no 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 it was not funny i will forever be traumatized because of that so they're playing super rough and sam gets baltimore really really good like she has her underwater for a little too long and when she finally comes up she pushes sam super duper hard where the lifeguard tells us to all get out okay we're getting kicked out pretty much get out like he's like uh-uh get out you guys can't get in the water and i'm like what did i do like what did i do so we ended up getting out and Baltimore is yelling at sam that like why is she playing like that why is she so rough why is she so stupid just cussing her out this foundation makes your skin look so good like look so we end up getting in trouble and i'm kind of like scared and annoyed because i was not done okay even though my i was holding on to the edge and my feet were dangling whatever i look cute and i was ready to have fun so baltimore and sam are still going at it and sam is like 
nope, you know what you do. You know what you do. I hate, I hate how you always act stupid. She's like, what did I do? Tell me, what did I do? Tell me right now, what did I do? Man, I was like, dude, you know, you know. Oh, this looks super pigmented, look. Dang. Look at that. Holy moly. Okay, that's that one, which is Pink Lady. Pink Lady looks cute. And then we have Barbie Rose. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I think I'm going to not use it directly like that because that's a lot, that's a lot. A little bit of this one, like this. Look at that. Like, look guys, a little bit, and I still have a lot on the back of my hand. Wow. So they're going back and forth, and I noticed that the lifeguard that told us to get out of the water is starting to make his way towards us, and he is pissed. And I don't blame him, because they were cussing each other out, they were being very nasty and using really bad language, and he pretty much tells us that we cannot get in the water anymore that we're done, that he warned us multiple times and that we just act like we didn't hear him, that we're done, that we're done, that we can still sit here and let our family, you know, swim, whatever, because she tried saying like, well, we have family here. And he pretty much was like, I don't care. They can play, but you can't play. So we were embarrassed because he was talking so loud. He was fed up. Like he was like, I don't care. Do you see my face? I don't care. He was pissed off okay i don't blame him i don't blame him look you guys huda sent me some concealers and i cannot wait to try shade light light medium and medium i am gonna go in with medium light awe, awe. so we're making our way to the table we're kind of embarrassed and i think where we were like kind of making like a lot of like noise like walking over there it got the attention of mr peach and Mr. Peach. So they get out of the pool and they're asking us like what happened? Mr. Peach automatically looks at Sam. He's like, what did you do? She goes, me? It was her. She starts pointing to Baltimore and Baltimore is telling her that they were just playing a little rough and that the lifeguard just pretty much just has his panties in a bunch and being a jerk and kicked us out. He is so mad. He is so mad that like what no like what really happened we tell him like yeah they were playing rough he got upset and you know we're in trouble like it's fine it's fine and the pool is gonna close like in two hours it's fine like it's fine he gets mad he goes over there has a couple words with the lifeguard because how dare he how dare he and i'm gonna go in with the other Huda. how dare he kicks kick us out but it was valid like they were acting stupid they were cussing other kids were swimming around someone could have like really got hurt like it's just obnoxious how they were acting like i don't blame the lifeguard for like losing his cool like it was it was too much and they were going too far and i totally get it so mr peach comes back over but while he was over there baltimore was on her was on her phone and she was messaging who she was messaging mr peach okay and his phone is like just lighting up, lighting up. And whose big ass name is flashing in bold cap letters? Voltamart. Whose attention does it get? Mrs. Peach, okay? So Mrs. Peach is just looking at the phone, looks at Baltimore. Baltimore is over there just like going a mile a minute, okay? A mile a minute. Mrs. Peach is sitting there drying off the kids, just looking at Mr. Peach's phone, light up and light up and light up. Sam and I are just like waiting for it to unfold, okay? Mrs. Peach asks Baltimore, who are you texting? Because I think she's trying to see if she's gonna lie to her. I don't know why Baltimore decided to be brave and say, mi novia por qué, my boyfriend, why? Okay, that's how Mrs. Peach's face was. Okay, she didn't have any words. She was speechless, she just, Okay. I kind of feel bad for her because it's like, come on, girl. Come on. Grab his phone. Grab his phone right now. Grab his phone. Grab his phone. So he makes his way back over and he is pissed. He's like, let's just go. They're kicking us out. 
I don't know if they really were, but maybe they were because his tone and how he always acted like the everyone had to move for him. So we start getting ready and he's like, just grab everything and just let's just go. Cause I guess we were going slow, but I don't think we were. I think it's just when you're mad, you want everything to move. I see with the quickness. So we're packing everything. Mrs. Peach grabs her phone and she's like, like what? Cause why? Because Sam turned it off. So she's like, my phone's dead. La 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 la. She asks Mr. Peach if she could see his phone because hers is dead. He starts going on a whole thing of like, why don't you charge your phone? Oh, I hate that you don't ever charge your phone. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So what? Like, shut up. That's so stupid to me when someone wants to act like that with their phone. That's when you know someone is like being hella shady is when they're like so weird about their phone. Because if you're not hiding anything, it should be nothing. Like, oh yeah, my phone's right there. Instead of giving you a whole speech. Now, I don't know. That's just hella suspicious to me. If you're going to get your panties all up in a bunch when you're asked for your phone. And you want to go on a whole thing of... Why don't you charge your phone? Da, 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 da. Did I ask you that? No, I'm asking. Let me see your phone because mine is dead. Why does it have to be such a big thing? So she tells him, why can't I just see your phone? Like she's getting upset because how he's acting, but we know why he's acting like that. <laughs> so he starts getting everyone ready. Like he acts like he can't even hear her. She just sitting there with her hand out and Baltimore is just pissed. Like she's not even paying attention to like what's going on. She is just pissed. And she decides to leave before us because she don't got to pack anybody. She don't got to pack anybody because why? No one invited her. She invited herself and she's just there. So she leaves. She's like, bye. I'll see you guys later. So mad. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. You had such a crappy day because you were acting like an idiot. Okay. Ciao. She leaves, we're getting the kids, and we start walking towards the entrance because we are leaving. And still, her hand is out like this, okay? And I don't know if Mr. Peach saw his phone and he kind of like knew like, oh my God, <sighs> things are about to go down, but I doubt it because he was fuming. Like he didn't even, like look at his phone because when he looked at it it was like dark like he didn't look at his phone and it was her messaging like exactly at that time like he literally just came started grabbing his stuff okay it was like that started grabbing his stuff and he's like ready to go so we're walking and she still has her hand out and he's like looking at her and he's like hey get get is like what do you want and she's like i need your phone and he's like for what and she says that she needs to make a call to something i don't i don't know i don't know if she was just bluffing or what but she shows him like look my phone is dead and he's like i already know your phone is dead that's why i'm mad why don't you ever charge your phone we get phones for a reason to have them charged what if a case of an emergency and i need to get a hold of you and she's like but we're together so like that doesn't matter right now if we're together the emergency would be like if i was out by myself so he starts going into a whole tangent and this whole time little lex is taking notes of how a man lies and how a man builds himself out of bullshit Hold on. So I'm just taking notes. I'm just taking notes. And I'm like, wow. I already knew so many sh But damn, Mr. Peach really taught me a thing or two of men really ain't shit. Okay? Women too. Because Baltimore was right there. Right there. Aye. Okay? And he is still mad. He tries to change the subject. And I see. And I see that he's trying to change the subject of, oh, this is so ridiculous. All the money that we just spent right now. And it's like, um, what are you talking about? Because I can't even get to get any chips or nothing. Okay? Like, what are you talking about? Like, we really weren't even there that long for him to be like, oh, we spent so much money, yada, yada. Bitch, shut up. Shut up. We didn't even spend that much money like that. Well, they didn't even spend that much money like that. Like, it really was like, dude, you're really trying to change the subject right now so hard. Like, you're really trying to turn the page so hard right now. But she wasn't letting him. And he's still going on his tangent of like, oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. 
blah, blah, blah. And she, just like this, just waiting for him to put it in her hand. Just waiting, okay? And he is acting like he does not see her hand. And I'm just like, there's no way. There's no way in hell that he's really gonna act this stupid. There's no way. Now we weren't that far from home, okay? It wasn't that far where it was like, oh, I forgot or oh, it's because I was so focused on driving for such a long time that I forgot. Mm -mm. He was just taking her for the ride of stupid but she wasn't going. She was pulling the emergency. She wasn't putting her seat down. We get out of the car because we get home and he still, still is on this tangent of I can't believe, I can't believe. You wanna know why he kept talking until we got home? You wanna know why? Because as soon as we got home and she asked for it again, you know what he told her? You know what he told her? Charge it. Charge it. That's why. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yup. He says, why do you need my phone? We're home already. Just charge it. Just charge it. And they get into a full-blown, full-blown argument. We took the kids upstairs and all you hear is just screaming and yelling, you're a piece of shit. And just, it was crazy, crazy loud. And he is just gaslighting the fuck out of Mrs. Peach. You're crazy, what are you talking about? What are you talking, like he is just, okay. You think once men get a little bit older and women, that they will be mature enough to be like, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna make you, uh, I'm not gonna make you feel crazy like this, but no. He was so good at playing her and making her feel like she was crazy. She starts saying that she's seen Voltimore's name on his phone. He's like, you're crazy. I don't even have her under my phone. Yeah, stupid, because you have her under Jose but go off. He's telling her that she's crazy and he's definitely not going to give his phone now because she's making up lies and that she's being ridiculous. That how can she be so ridiculous? And that he was making it a fun day for them and that she wanted just to come out of nowhere and that he's been, he's been so good. Just lighting her up, lighting her up. This is why he can't ever do anything. Is that is because she's constantly making him feel like he's never good enough and that he didn't do anything wrong and he doesn't want to be blamed for something that he didn't do. That why is she acting like this? That he's done nothing but try and try and she is constantly trying to make him be the bad guy and he doesn't wanna be a bad guy anymore, but if he needs to be a bad guy in her story, then so be it. But that he doesn't even have her in his phone. And me and Sam just sitting there on the stairs, just listening to this man straight lie through his teeth. God strike me right now. Sir, he was pissed he was pissed i'm pretty sure if he could cry on cue he would have he would have but he couldn't now hearing mrs peach voice crack was heartbreaking even though they did a lot of messed up things and she was hateful towards me at times hearing a woman's cry sucks it does and it is so sad because the way he had her questioning if she was crazy and if she saw what she saw was insane because if it wasn't for me and Sam seeing what we saw, we would think she was loca too. We would be like, what the hell? We were having a good day. Like, why is she tripping out? Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. But since we knew 
that they were still bumping and grinding because this affair had been happening for a while and Peach knew about the other ones but it sucked because they wouldn't stop. Like they kept going and going and going. So now, since he hears that she feels defeated, he keeps, look how cute this is. He keeps going, oh, I can't believe you. I try with you, I try with you. He even says her name, I think to kind of throw her off. When you are fighting with somebody and you say their name, it kind of makes you feel like, you have to give that eye contact. In a way, it kind of like, I don't know, it's like you're scolding a child. Oh, this isn't as brown as I would expect it to be. So he starts scolding her, calls her by her name, and we can just hear her change her tune, and she starts apologizing. As soon as she starts apologizing for overacting, me and Sam just look at each other, and I'm like, your dad is something else. Like, your dad for real is a piece of work. And she is just like, just zoned in onto listening into the conversation because I'm pretty sure she wanted to see how far her dad would take it. Now, Sam can't sand her stepmom. She can't. But I'm telling you, when you hear a woman's cry like that, it does something to you. It does something to you. So she's just listening. She's just listening. And now, since he feels like, oh yeah, I got her where I want. He starts going in and starts belittling her as a woman and all this stuff, making her feel horrible. And she starts to apologize more. I know, I know, and I see that you're trying. I know, I know. And I am just like, oh, like this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Like she's not even wrong. She's not even wrong. Now, I don't have the evidence and it's not my place at the same time to tell her, like, you're not, you're not, you're not tripping home, girl. Look at it. This is cute. He would have got away with it if he wouldn't have kept going in on Mrs. Peach. Because now, since his ego was growing and growing, he thought, ooh, I got her right where I want her. She's saying she's sorry that like her phone just died and she just wanted to make a call and yeah, she, he, has be, he has been trying, he's right, he's right and that she sees his efforts and no sé qué. I just look over and Sam is just like fuming. You could see her head sizzling and he's just telling her, I don't even know if I can do this. Oy. And I'm just like, dude, how gross, how gross. Now I get up because I'm going to go upstairs because it's just one of those things where it's just, it sucks to hear. And I can't be running downstairs and be like, you're a liar. You're a liar. You are a filthy liar because it is not my family. It is not my place. You know, I can't be doing all that. I wanted to, but I can't. So I got up and I see that Sam gets up too. And I'm like, oh, okay, so we're gonna go, up, you know, we're gonna go upstairs and just call it a day. Like it was fun while it lasted, but no, her ass goes downstairs. And she goes downstairs and she tells her dad, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you making her feel like that? Why are you making her feel like that? He immediately tells her to go the f upstairs, that to not be in, like that not to be getting in grown folk business. And she's like, no, 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 no. Why are you lying to her like that? Peach is quiet and is just listening, cause I know, I know, and I know she knows. I know she knows. She knows that she's about to get the confirmation of not a loca girl. You're not. Yeah, man, this okay, but not you. So he keeps telling her like to shut up, just to go upstairs, to go upstairs, and he's not gonna deal with her craziness today. That he's dealt with enough craziness and just to go upstairs. Now he's gaslighting Sam. <laughs> Sam a little crazy, and she tells him that he's the reason why she doesn't want to ever, ever, ever get married. Ooh, 
I know that had to hurt. He's like, okay, okay, I don't care. Go upstairs, go upstairs. Like he keeps trying to shoo her away. And she tells Paige, he was messaging Baltimore. He kept messaging, that's why he doesn't want you to see her phone. So Kieras, I have the evidence. I have it right here. I took pictures. I have it right here. I have it right here. And I'm like walking a little bit closer because like I feel like he's going to snatch it and he's going to destroy it. I don't know. I feel like I watch too many movies. I feel like it. And he keeps telling her like, stop being so ridiculous. Stop being so ridiculous. That's probably your friends. That's probably your friends. You probably, you probably did something and had your friends. It's probably your friends. And I'm just like, dang, like, damn, like anything and anything, anything and anything quick, quick. He had something. He had something. He was like, you never wanted me to be with her. You always are causing problems. And now it's just all, all a, a, a thing. Okay. All a thing. And Sam just tells her dad, then just give her your phone. If you didn't do anything, then just give her your phone. Call the number so you know what's really her. Call the number and let's just writing. And I feel like Mrs. Peach wanted to. It was just, she just couldn't. She just couldn't get it. Like she just couldn't. Even if it were to fall into her lap, she couldn't. Sam gets annoyed with her and just tells her like, you do it to yourself. Like no one can help you. You do it to yourself You just and just piss. We go upstairs and all we just hear is like things getting broken. They're screaming at each other, all of it. And then we just hear a, Dong, ding dong, the bell is ringing. And I'm thinking this could be the worst timing impossible that Voldemort could come. The worst timing possible that she could come. And then sure enough, who was there? Baltimore. So we hear them opening the door. He tells her, it's not a good time right now. And she's like, I don't care. Makes her way through because she's so used to doing whatever the fuck she wants. She walks to the door. Mrs. Peach asks her, so are you guys talking again? Are you guys talking again? Like she is already at a 10. As soon as she sees her face, now she is taking the anger out on her, but it should be with Mr. Peach. And she's like, oh my God, you're gonna start again? Now, both of them are freaking gaslighting this poor woman <laughs> crazy. Like it is so crazy how they both were like, what? Oh my. And it tripped me out because they wanted to be together so bad. Then why didn't y'all? Then why didn't y'all? Why did you have to keep doing this? I don't get it. I don't get it. So she starts yelling at her. They start fighting. She's telling her, I don't, I don't want to. She's like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to come over and just hang out with you guys. But there's always a problem with you. You're so insecure. You're so insecure because of you, because of you. They just start making Mrs. Peach feel crazy to the point. She even says that, that she feels like she's going insane, that she just wants them to be honest with her, that if they're doing anything to please let her know. And they both, without hesitation, nothing is going on. You're crazy. Nuts. Baltimore ends up leaving. She's pissed. How can you accuse me of such a thing? We already went through this already. Blah, 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 blah. Thought we were past it. You need to stop bringing up the past. Yada, yada, yada. Like, bitch, of course she's going to accuse you because you already admitted to sleeping with her husband before and it's been a whole tussle thingy. You had a baby on her with him. Like, what are you talking about? Drama, right? So then... She goes upstairs, Mrs. so Mrs. Peach comes upstairs and she is just like, face is swollen from like crying so freaking hard or she is just too much. I'm thinking we're gonna leave it. I'm like, okay, ah, oh, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it, okay? Not our business. It's fine, it's cool. We still have to shower, okay? Get all this chlorine and gunk off of us, but no, Sam is determined because Mr. Peach is pissed and now he has to leave, okay? Now he's mad. Ugh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna, I just have to. Boy, bye. So he leaves, she's upstairs, she's swollen, she's crying, she's in tears. Sam goes into the room and tells her, look, and is showing her her phone. And Mrs. Peach is like, how do I know th this is the real thing? And and what if your dad's right about these, this is just your friends? <sighs> we should have taken the picture before we changed the name. We should have done that. It looked, it looked so like, okay, I could see it. So she didn't want to believe it. She didn't want to believe it. Okay. We take our baths, take our showers. Hours pass. Hours pass. Mr. Peach comes home. He's shit. Okay. Drunk off his school. Okay. Downstairs. And we're all sitting there on, we're all sitting there on the couch and we're just like watching TV with the kids. The kids are passed out on the couch. We're all just like having a good time, whatever, vibing with each other. 
he makes his way to the table. He's just sitting there just drunk and he has his phone and he kind of just puts it like on the table. And immediately in my brain, I'm like, he deleted the messages, already changed the number back to Jose probably, doesn't even have her on the phone anymore. Like I'm just like thinking of all these things and I know Sam is probably thinking it too. So she's just sitting there and she's like, well, now can we talk? And he's like, we can talk upstairs. And she's like, I don't want to talk upstairs. He's like, okay, what? And she's like, can I have your phone now? He's like, then if you want it so much, then gives her the phone. Of course she goes through it. Nothing. There's nothing, nothing on the phone. And he tells her, do you feel better now? Do you feel better now? And I think she tried to look for Walter Boy's number because it didn't pop up. She's like, oh. He's like, you see, I don't even have her, I don't even have her number saved. You see, you just make yourself crazy for no reason, for no reason. Oh, yeah. And he just grabs his phone and makes his way upstairs. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that was one of the times that my brain was changed. Where I was like, oh my gosh, something could be so obvious but a person, persons, can make you feel like you are insane and that you're crazy. And you'll just take anything, like him coming home, he was gone for all those hours. He could have been, you could have slept with her, could have done whatever with her, could have made up with her, whatever, with the Sancha, okay? She, he changed everything on the phone, came back, he made it seem like he was seeing with his friends. You see there, now you can go through my phone. After he's probably already did all his dirty business, and if you're not ready to leave your man's, your girlfriend, the person that you know is hurting you, you will be in denial and take anything that is given to you. Anything. Because you're hurting so bad that even just a little besito, you'll be okay with it. And I swear that changed my mind about like just everything and anything and it made it so hard to believe anything. Everything was questioned, everything was questioned. And it just sucks because it literally changed the way my brain thought, where I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Cause I was there with Sam when Sam took the picture. I saw it from our own eyes. And the way Mrs. Peach believed that man and the way that Sam got punished for it later on, like she grounded her was insane because I saw it from our own eyes and we were yelled at that what we saw was wrong and to stop lying was insane, crazy. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. This is like a scary, bad dream, there's no way. Yes way, mm-hmm. Let me know, cause I know, I know, I know you guys have cheese with tambien of something similar or have seen and you're like, it's crazy, let me know. Down below, I would love to know. If you guys enjoy story times, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated on my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next story time. Bye.